Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is how to connect a Vortex Wireless 2 or a MIDI controller to a Windows 10 PC using a WIDI Master. Type Microsoft Store in the search input box. Click on the Microsoft Store app. At the top right of the app window, type MIDI Berry in the search input box. Then click on the MIDI Berry app. And click on Install. If a Microsoft sign-in window appears, just click on the X in the top right-hand corner of the window to close it. At the top right of the Microsoft Store window, click on the X to close the window. Open your internet browser. Type Loop MIDI into your browser search engine. Click on the Loop MIDI web page. In Google Chrome, Google Chrome will stop you downloading from this web page. So click on Software. Then click on Loop MIDI. Now click on Download Loop MIDI. At the bottom left of the browser screen, click on the downloaded Loop MIDI zip file. And double click on the Loop MIDI setup file. In the Loop MIDI setup window, tick the license terms and conditions. Then click on install. Then click on Launch. You can now close your internet browser window. Type Bluetooth in the search input box and click on Bluetooth and other devices settings. If Bluetooth is off, Click on the Bluetooth switch to turn the Bluetooth on. Click on Add Bluetooth or Other Device. Click on Bluetooth, mice, keyboards, pens or audio and other kinds of Bluetooth devices. Plug the WIDI Master into the MIDI DIN socket on your Vortex 2 or other MIDI controller then turn on your Vortex 2 or other MIDI controller. Click on MIDI Master. Then click on Connect. Now that the WIDI Master has been paired at the bottom right of the window, click on Done. At the top right of the Bluetooth window, click the X to close the Bluetooth window. Click on the Windows Start button.
scroll through the apps and click on MIDI Berry. In the input section, click on the WIDI Master. So WIDI Master is highlighted blue. In the output section, click on the Loop MIDI. So the Loop MIDI is highlighted blue. Open your door. Here I'm using Ableton Live Lite. In Ableton Live Lite, click on Options. Then click on Preferences. In the Preferences window, click on the Link MIDI tab. In the MIDI Ports section, the Loop MIDI should now show as an input, with Track set to On. Now click on Remote to switch it from Off to On. At the top right of the Preferences window, click on the X to close the Preferences. From the Categories window, select an instrument. Now add a MIDI instrument to a MIDI track. And change the MIDI from, from all ins, to MIDI loop. Next, arm the track. Now you can play your Vortex Wireless 2, or any other MIDI controller that you've connected the WIDI Master to, to play the MIDI instrument. Do note, to make this setup work, you need to make sure the MIDI Berry and the Loop MIDI windows are open at all times. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.